Hi, this is Julie O'Brien on behalf of Falta Ireland in the Dublin office, speaking via web link with Niamh Kinsula from the Tourism Ireland Milan office. Can you share with Irish tourism and businesses your top three tips that will generate real business from the Italian market? Well, the first thing I'd say is to ensure you're registered to tourismirelandindustryopportunities.com and that you select uh, Italy and that way you'll receive updates on what's happening in Italy and the, the opportunities to work with us. Those are opportunities like taking a feature in an e-sign or uh, working with us on social media. And that brings an Italian audience directly to your website or your social media. And as we know from partner feedback, uh, it actually can deliver real bookings as well. The other thing though is really to try and get to understand uh, what motivates Italians. We did some work last year and launched a new strategy. And one of the things that came out of that uh, was how important a word of mouth is to Italians. So hearing from other Ta Italians what they think of a destination. And uh, to that extent, if you have Italian clients, people staying with you or visiting your, your business, try and encourage them to leave a review or a comment that you can share on your platforms and that way that's likely to persuade other Italians uh, to consider you. Um, another thing that came out of our review was the importance of imagery uh, in motivating Italians through capturing our stunning scenery. So Italians really respond when they see breathtaking shots of iconic Irish attractions. So we'd encourage you to use those on your website. Another really important one for Italians is, of course, food. So that whole provenance story, uh, identifying local Irish product, produce and the place it's from, where it's been grown and cared for and, and uh, cooked by uh, local people, that's a really strong motivating factor for Italians. On the subject of translation, can you advise what is expected, particularly for websites and printed material? I suppose one of the main tasks for us as a tourist board is to ensure that there's a really positive and strong image of Ireland out there, that brand Ireland is strong in the Italian market. So we do uh, some digital brand advertising. Uh, we ran a campaign in May uh, this year where we used digital video, video to showcase what's best about Ireland and that engages our culturally curious uh, audience, brings them into the website where they'll find out more. But of course, we also need to try and move them further along towards actually booking a holiday. And in order to achieve that, we partner with uh, commercial businesses, whether carriers or tour operators or OTAs, that's online travel agents, in the market. And we undertake co-op campaigns on a 50-50 basis, which enables us to stretch our budgets much further. But it also gives us the advantage of partnering with household names in the Italian market like uh, Boscolo or Franco Rosso uh, or some of the carriers like Ryanair and uh, Aer Lingus. So that's a great way of getting the Irish, uh, the Ireland message out there and our brand with a priced offer on it. Can you share with us some campaign examples that Tourism Ireland Italy has used to drive business to Ireland? I suppose one of the main tasks for us as a tourist board is to ensure that there's a really positive and strong image of Ireland out there, that brand Ireland is strong in the Italian market. So we do uh, some digital brand advertising. Uh, we ran a campaign in May uh, this year where we used digital video, video to showcase what's best about Ireland and that engages our culturally curious uh, audience, brings them into the website where they'll find out more. But of course, we also need to try and move them further along towards actually booking a holiday. And in order to achieve that, we partner with uh, commercial businesses, whether carriers or tour operators or OTAs, that's online travel agents, in the market. And we undertake co-op campaigns on a 50-50 basis, which enables us to stretch our budgets much further. But it also gives us the advantage of partnering with household names in the Italian market like uh, Boscolo or Franco Rosso uh, or some of the carriers like Ryanair and uh, Aer Lingus. So that's a great way of getting the Irish, uh, the Ireland message out there and our brand with a priced offer on it. If an Irish tourism business makes contact with you, what product information do you need from them? 
Well, I suppose the first thing we need to know is if you're already working in the Italian market, and if so, with whom, because that way we can help direct you towards uh, new contacts as appropriate. Um, the other thing we'd need to know is if you can uh, deliver your, your product uh, through the Italian language, because some of our contacts in the market are only interested in working with uh, tourism providers who can do that. The other thing that's uh, very important is to be able to provide us with good content. So imagery, I've, I've mentioned earlier the importance of stunning scenery for Italians, how they have that real strong emotional response. So getting us good imagery uh, from you and also good content that we can, as necessary, translate into Italian. But it's really, what's your USP? What story do you have to tell? And then we can take it from there. I just want to thank you very much for your time. I'm sure the Irish trade will find this very useful.